Look at all that sweet money. And the Amazon is selling about, I don't know, a couple billion dollars a day. They get sell millions of products online every single day day it's the the scope of it is kind of insane jeff bezos even after divorce is worth over a hundred billion dollars now you might be wondering is all that money where is all that going to now 70 percent of the products sold on amazon are actually sold by people like you and people like me independent business owners that are you know supplying amazon's warehouses most of the products are not owned by amazon and in this video i'm going to be going over how you can get a little piece of that pie. I'm gonna show you Amazon FBA. I'm gonna walk you through the four step process, which is, you know, understand the process, finding the right product, finding the right supplier, and also shipping and warehousing the product. So you never have to touch anything. You can do literally everything from your computer. I'm also gonna go over some of the numbers. Now, a lot of other people teaching Amazon online Aren't, don't go over this and they don't want to go over this because they're trying to sell you courses. Now, I'm going to go over the actual numbers, the actual amount of money that you need to get started with Amazon. I'm going to go over the other requirements that you need in order to be selling on Amazon. There is a little bit more involved to Amazon, but I'm going to list it out. I mean, it's a very profitable venture, but you have to understand those um, elements of things. But first, let's get into the four-step process, understanding how selling on Amazon works, understanding how to find the right product, how to find the right supplier, and shipping and forwarding all of the products to Amazon's warehouses so you can not have to do anything, never touch a product, and start making money. Let's get to it. Okay, cool. So once again, selling on Amazon. Now, if you don't understand what FBA means, it means fulfillment by Amazon. And this is what you want to do. This is how you take advantage of the prime members. Fulfillment by Amazon means you don't have to touch the products. You don't have to ship the products. You don't have to worry about turning your own life into a job of just going back and forth between the post office. I'll be going over how it all works. I'll be going over how to find the right product, you know, finding a high demand product that has a low supply. I'll be going over how to find the right supplier and I'll also be going over how to do shipping and forwarding of your products to Amazon's warehouses so you don't have to physically like be at the port and meet some Chinese person and like drive it in your truck over to Tennessee, right? So let's get on my computer right here and I'll walk you through everything. Um, we're gonna start on Amazon's website, so let's get on this. Okay, so now the first thing we wanna do is when we, we go to amazon.com and scroll down to the bottom of the page. Now, when you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll notice a lot of links. You'll see right here, it says, make money with us. So what's great is there's a lot of ways to make money with Amazon and feel free to browse these at your convenience. You can sell books, you can advertise, become an affiliate etc apps handmade goods but we're interested in is the number one way amazon makes money and the number one way to make money with amazon which is selling a product right there so we'll click on that now what we end up on is a site that says amazon services it says sell on amazon and you have people making lots of money with amazon right here now unlike other people that talk about amazon fba who shall not be named, you know who you are, okay? I'm gonna go over some of the costs, the real costs associated with starting an Amazon business, not to dissuade you or sway you any way, just to be realistic. If you're looking to start this business, you need to know the different costs associated with starting an Amazon business. Now, I'm not gonna say, you know, there's people, I know many people who have become multimillionaires selling on Amazon. I've known people that haven't, you know, just like any business model, but, if you notice right here, just to get started selling, just to sign up for their seller platform, it does cost a little bit of money. And you can see that right there, $39 a month. Now, $39 a month, it doesn't actually, that's not the cost for listing any product. That's not the cost for really anything. That's just the cost to, to have your application, okay? That's just the cost to have an account and be able to start posting products on Amazon but it's not a big fee if you really start using it and selling products. You can make a lot of money doing that. So to sign up, you would sign up right here and you would start selling. 
okay? Now, once you have an account with Amazon, you need to find the right product, okay? And it, this is all about supply and demand. You wanna find high demand product that is low supply. Um, you have to find a product, and then you have to find somebody to supply it to you. So that's really the trick of Amazon, is finding a good product that's gonna sh sell a lot of. Basically, anything will sell. You can see, you know, you can sell rock'em, sock'em robots, right? But maybe it won't fly off the shelves because it's too old. Maybe it will because it's like popular with old people or something. But let's go on. And the way we're going to search for best sellers on Amazon is we're actually going to go to Google and we're going to type in Amazon best sellers. Now, the first link that'll pop up in Google is from Amazon, which is their best sellers. And you want to click on that link. This is a special page by Amazon, which actually shows their best selling products. Now, what's great here is that Amazon really helps lay it out for you, and it's because they want you to sell products on Amazon. They make more money the more products they sell. If they don't have a supply of the products that have a large demand, then they're losing out on profits, and Jeff Bezos is not able to buy his 500th house. <laughs> Jeff Bezos is now one of the largest landowners in America. Um, because of Amazon. So he's just crazy rich. He is a, he is a badass. Now, what we see right here is we'll see a bunch of Amazon best-selling products and we can look through these categories and, and find different products that we might want to sell. And we'll look to see if there's large saturation here. Now, one thing I did when I got started in marketing, actually back in 2009, was I actually started selling on eBay and I used this exact same method to find products. All I did was I simply looked in the best-selling products um, that were selling on eBay. I looked in particular categories and I found a product that there was a large amount of demand for, but not a large supply of. And I started, I started acquiring that product and just selling it on, on eBay. And it just flew off the shelves and it was you know, really crazy. I, I was making hundreds of dollars a day and I just couldn't believe it. That was one of my first major successes was selling products on eBay. So really cool stuff. And I still remember the product this day. It was the P90X workout program. It had this stretchy, like stretchy band, which you worked out with. And it was like a DVD case and like a mat and something like that. But it was a whole workout training system and I found a source to get it. And I started supplying it to people and I was selling 10 to 20 units for about 60 bucks a day so selling up to about a thousand bucks a day worth of this product and i was making you know i was making a little margin so i was happy hundreds of dollars profit every single day so that only lasted for a little bit i won't go too deep into that story but that was that was really exciting and you can do the same sort of thing with amazon today if you just go out it and be smart about things now, once you've found a product that you want to sell on Amazon and you've seen that there are not a lot of people supplying that product, you're going to need to find the right supplier. Now, to find the right supplier, we're going to go to Alibaba.com. And on Alibaba.com, this is actually the largest e-commerce website in the entire world. I believe even bigger than Amazon, they don't make as much money as Amazon because we'll go into the fees that Amazon takes out in just a little bit here. But Alibaba.com is essentially, it's how the world interacts with Chinese manufacturers. Almost every single Chinese manufacturing company or factory is on Alibaba.com and you can buy products from China and have them sent to the US and to Amazon and supply them to consumers in whatever country you're from. So Alibaba sells all around the world and it's all based from Chinese manufacturers. So the product we're actually gonna use for this example is, you know, I just decided on a whim, we're gonna use the Rock'em Sock'em Robots for this example, which if you're not recalling, it's, a, it's just a game where you, you try to bounce their head off. See, I got, I got the head off. It's just a little game, old school game. And we see here on Amazon, if we search Rock'em Sock'em Robots, we have the same game here, $28.31, and you see only 10 left in stock. So that's pretty good because if there's only a few left in stock, that means it's selling, okay? And it means that we can make some money doing this if we supply it. So now I just went over to Alibaba.com and I looked up 
Rock'em Sock'em robots. And what we see right here is we see, look at that, three to six dollars a unit. Okay, can someone do the math for me there? How much money do you make if you sell each one of these? You make about $22 a unit, okay? You're making about 80% profit. And that's the sort of thing that you can do with Alibaba and Amazon. Simply, we are supplying a demand for Rock'em Sock'em robots on Amazon, and we are purchasing them for less. Now, the catch here is that you have to order a lot of units, okay? So Alibaba, you have to order about, usually it's about a minimum of 100 units, but if we do some back of the envelope math here, 150, and let's say just times six, let's just say, we have $900 divided by $28. So we have to sell about 32 of these Rock'em Sock'em robots. And then every other unit thereafter is pure profit, okay? Which is pretty nice, right? There's some more math involved, and I'll get into that in just a second. But on base value, there are margins on this. You can make a lot of money. And if you are watching this video, I would actually suggest, I wasn't even trying, and we found a really good product for you to do on Amazon. So there's a lot of opportunity there. I wasn't even trying to do this. I didn't even set this up. Maybe I'm already selling this stuff. But make sure to hop on this opportunity pretty quickly. So rock of soft grow. And guy, if, if you're getting value by the, by the way, type in Amazon money because that, I mean, like we're saying that I'm, I'm, I'm literally giving you a freebie to make money online. If, if, if that does not blow your mind, okay, like type in mind blown. We, we, we just found a product. We barely searched. I just looked around the room. This was the first thing I typed in and I'm giving somebody a business. I'm giving somebody a freaking you know, six-figure business right here, whoever takes up on this. So type in, type in Amazon money in the chat, okay, if you got value out of this. I mean, if you're going to take action on this, don't say anything. Just go do it. <laughs> don't say I'm in. Just go do it. Buy it, you know. So that gives you an idea of what it takes to uh, really get started here, okay. I just made somebody a six-figure business right there. So last step is we have to figure out shipping and forwarding or shipping and handling to get our product from China into the US into Amazon's warehouse. Let me show you some examples of how you can do this. Okay, now the company I recommend you do this is, you know, there's a couple companies out there that do this, is Freight OS. So you see Freight OS right here. It's just, what it does is it will take the crate or whatever, the pallets of materials you get from China and wherever they arrive, Seattle, Los Angeles, San Diego, usually it'll be like Seattle or Los Angeles or Portland even. And they will take it from the port and they will send it to, they will forward it along to Amazon's warehouse in Tennessee or wherever they're based and they'll supply it for you. And then all you have to do is Amazon will take care of the process from there. And whenever somebody buys the product, they will ship along the Rock'em Sock'em robot to the consumer for you so that you never have to touch the product and you make money just by laying back. Okay, so now let's go over some of the actual like costs associated with starting an Amazon business. Now you saw from my estimate to get the Rock'em Sock'em robots, that looks like a great product. It looks, I mean, we will make a huge amount of profit if we do that. You saw I could buy it for $6, I could sell it for $28. That's really good. And that's amazing. That's incredible that we found stuff like that. I don't know if I just am like blessed by the marketing gods, but type in Amazon money if you get excited because we found, we found something with high demand, low supply, huge margins right on this video. So somebody needs to start a business doing that. Type in Amazon money if this is excited and you are a new subscriber because we go over stuff like this every day. But that was a really good lucky find. Now to get started on Amazon, what you need to realize is even though that is a good product to sell, you may have to go through multiple products before you get lucky, okay? Not every product is gonna be a winner. Just like in affiliate marketing, not every ad is going to be a winner. Generally speaking, you have to go through a number of ads. I would allot for five to 10 different products or in affiliate marketing, five to 10 different ad campaigns before you actually get to a point where you find a winner is what we call it. And with Amazon, you're gonna to have to buy inventory. The difference with affiliate marketing is you don't have to buy any inventory. So you have minimum, minimum I've seen people say that you need to get started with Amazon, if they're being realistic, is $10,000, okay? If you're going after very low 
priced items like what I showed you. Now, what I showed you was an anomaly. That was a really special situation. But generally speaking, $25,000 is a good number to plan on getting started with. So be prepared to spend between ten dollars to $25,000 if you are going to commit to starting an Amazon business to get products and pack, you know, to get just get all the product here from China. Keep in mind, there's a lot of fees associated with that. We said getting those Rock'em Sock'em robots, 150 of those, that was $900. But what you're not counting is the tariff costs. What you're not counting is the container fees of get moving that product from China to the US. There's a lot of taxes, there's a lot of tariffs, and there's a lot of documents you have to sign in order to make, move that product over here. Other requirements that you have to understand you need are you need a you need to have a business, okay? You're not going to do this, be able to do this without a business. So you're going to need to register an LLC, which you you can do pretty cheaply. You can do for as cheap as $100 or you know it can be more expensive if you don't want to have to file the paperwork yourself. Maybe 100 to $500, okay? to actually start an LLC. Um, you'll also need a business address, okay? So you'll need a business address in order to, you know, just receive customer service and letters. To sell a product, you have to provide support as well. So you're gonna need a phone number. Now you could use your cell phone number, but if you are selling a lot of products on Amazon, you're gonna actually have to be talking to customers on the phone who are saying, I got a defective product or, you know, what not, such, you know, you're gonna actually have to talk to them. I want to return. Can you ship me a new one? Where, you know, a piece broke? Can I get a replacement? You're gonna to have to answer all those questions. So you'll also need a phone number. Now let's go back to my computer and I'm gonna show you some of the fees Amazon takes because although when you're selling for $28 on Amazon, you're not keeping that entire $28. Amazon's actually taking a percentage of that. And let me walk you through some of the money that Amazon's taking. Now, before we go into the money Amazon's taking, I just actually clicked ahead on the uh, seller fees. And you can see setting up your Amazon account, you need a business name and address. You need a mobile or telephone number. You need a valid bank account and you need to have all of your tax information. So you need all of this stuff in addition to what I already said, an ad business address, et cetera phone number in order to actually sell on Amazon. Now on the previous page we did where I showed you, you could start selling on Amazon. You'll see right here, it says $39 a month plus additional selling fees. What are the additional selling fees you may be wondering? Well, that's the money that Amazon makes. Amazon is not making money from charging its sellers only $39 a month. They're making money because they're charging much more than that. So let's see. Okay, now, first of all, depending on what product category you are in, Amazon makes a huge use of what they call affiliates. There's a lot of people who are affiliates for Amazon and Amazon takes that out of your profits, okay? Or your cut, whatever you sell it for. So you'll see if you're selling, you know, well, this is an Amazon product, but if you're selling books, Amazon takes 15% off. Cameras and photos, 8%. So they're taking anywhere from eight to 15%, I think is safe for clothing, they're taking 17%. So they're taking eight to 15% for referral fees. And what that means is they're taking that money to pay out affiliates or pay out themselves if they somehow recommended the product. So they're paying out affiliates with eight to 15%. Now let's move onwards. Now, if you're using fulfillment by Amazon, which means you're actually having them handle your business for you, which is, how most people suggest you do it. You're just gonna get more business that way. Most of the power users on Amazon are Prime, use Prime, is you will be paying a lot more fees too. So you see right here, for each product you sell, you'll be paying anywhere from $2.41, and you know, let's say this is maybe about a pound. You know, in this case, you'll be paying about $5 per product to sell these Rock'em Sock'em robots. So you'll be paying 15% plus an additional $5. Okay. Now, actually there's more fees here. Then you'll be paying inventory storage fees. And this is another reason why you want to find products that have high demand is because per each square foot of uh, warehousing space you use, you're going, or each cubic foot, you're going to be paying about 70 cents, about a buck, let's say. Okay. And during the months of Christmas, you know, October to December, you're going to be paying about $2 and 50 cents per square foot. So just to give you an idea of kind of 
the fees. So that gives you an idea of what you'll be paying, you know, for stuff. So you're paying $5, 15%, you're paying an additional, you know, storage fee of a dollar per foot. So there's a lot of fees. Amazon's making money. Amazon, leave no doubt about it. Amazon makes money and they aren't ashamed to charge more fees either. So long and short, be prepared to spend ten dollars to $25,000 if you are looking to get started with an Amazon business. It's no easy task. In addition to this ten dollars to $25,000, that's for product and inventory. Be prepared to spend maybe about $5,000 on training and other set business setup costs, such as you know a business address, et cetera. So realistically speaking, fifteen dollars to $30,000 is kind of the range you're looking at to start a real Amazon business if you wanna have any chance of having success. Now, if you don't have that sort of money or time to devote to starting an Amazon business, there all are alternatives that are much cheaper to start. There's consulting, there's starting a social media marketing agency, they're starting an affiliate marketing company, and they're starting a network marketing company or downline, whatever you wanna call it. I talk a lot about starting an affiliate marketing um, based business. You can check out my free traffic methods uh, playlist, which I'll have my assistant link to somewhere up here to start an affiliate marketing business. This is the number one business model. If you don't have that much money to get started, it is the cheapest business model to start and it's very easy to do so. And I explain step-by-step step how to in that video series. Now, I hope you like this video and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Are you gonna start an Amazon business, you know, or not? You know, is an Amazon business for you or are you more interested in starting one of these businesses? Let me know if you say, hell yeah to Amazon or hell yeah to affiliates. I wanna see what you are interested in. If you have any questions for me, let me know as well. And make sure you like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Hope this has been real. Hope you got massive value from this. I try to break this down as kind of dispassionately and unbiased as I possibly could for you, showing you the real fees and the real amount of money that it takes to start an Amazon business. So looking forward to seeing you in future videos. I release a new video every day, 8.30 p.m. Pacific time. Monday through Friday. Talk to you soon.